Hi, my name is Roger Barger. I'm an architect in the Extreme Computing Group of Microsoft Research, where my team is building applications and services on the cloud that will enable researchers and data analysts to seamlessly access the resources of the cloud, Windows Azure, from familiar client tools such as Excel. The project I'm going to be showing you is called Excel Datascope. A researcher or data analyst can sample and download extremely large-scale data sets. In addition, they can invoke data analytics and machine learning libraries that will execute on the cloud against those data sets. Imagine that I'm an environmental researcher, perhaps an oceanographer. My collaborators at a research lab, such as Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, are making their data available to me. That data lives in the cloud. I can use Excel Datascope to access that data. Our project includes a new research ribbon that allows me to connect to the cloud. When I make this connection to the cloud from Excel, I can choose a work group where my collaborators have left the data. So I've made a connection. What we've noticed is we have new analytics algorithms that are available to us from this research ribbon that we've added to Excel. One of the first things I might want to do is to actually take a sample or a taste of this data. So I'm making a request to the cloud, and I can immediately see the data sets that are available to me in the cloud. In this case, I'm going to pull the top 50 data samples. And what I can see is I'm recording, these, these sensors are recording latitude, longitude, depth of the sensor, salinity, the temperature, and the current strength. Once I've got access to the data, I may want to start asking questions about it. One of the first things I may want to ask if there's any outliers. So I can invoke an outlier detection algorithm. The implementation of this algorithm, again, is up in Windows Azure. I've selected my outlier detection algorithm. I'm going to be looking for any outliers of depth, looking where the sensors are located. And this time, I'm going to run against the full data set that's up in the cloud. Choosing against the ocean data set, I select the algorithm, and I request it to be executed. This sends a request up to Windows Azure, where our service is running. It invokes the algorithm and scales the algorithm out across multiple virtual machines up in the cloud. So our clustering algorithm is completed, and we've brought back a visualization of the actual clustering results. Here we see four crisp clusters. Each tile in, these, in this image represents a sample from one of our sensors, which we can drill into. In addition, we can zoom out and choose other attributes on which we want to explore using this tool. We may want to filter the sensor readings on depth, combining that with salinity, looking for high, deep readings with high salinity. Again, we're continuing to visually explore our data, drilling into it while the data remains on the cloud and the processing is taking place on the cloud, returning the results to our desktop, allowing us to gain insight about our data. To sum up, Excel Datascope brings the power of the cloud to the researcher who's using Excel. They're able to download and examine extremely large data collections, extract insight using machine learning and data analytics libraries, and take action, exploring the data, sharing the data, or publishing the results to the cloud.